the RX-7 on, uh, I think it was Wednesday. Good hard downshift and just torqueable teeth off is what it sounds like. So right now I'm going to go pick up Murphy and I found myself another rear end up in Boise for 50 bucks. We're just a stock, what a 3.9 loaded slip. So for 50 bucks, we'll get the car going. And then uh, might hold off and run another Kia Sportage gear set in there for a little while. I'll probably keep the next set I have for uh, the rally car because I figure that being that it's dirt, it eh, probably won't have nearly the same amount of force going to the rear end if you do anything stupid. Whereas the huge wide tires of death on pavement kind of did a number on them. Probably get some video of that once I take it apart. See what kind of carnage I put into it. So Murphy caught a whistle pig, which is this little furry bugger hiding right here. He's kind of like a gerbily thing. They're kind of fragile, so I'm trying to be gentle to pick him up. Whistlepig. Baby whistle pig. He's a little whistle pig. He's he's probably a couple days old, maybe. Murphy just kinda walked up and stole him. Which is better than the fate of his brothers and sisters who got shot. So we're gonna try to keep him as a pet. Maybe we we'll give him some dribble food and see if he survives. Haha. -ha. So uh, we took the whistle pig home and I swear to god he's not dead. He's uh just kind of been passed out. I'm guessing by the age of him, because he's young, maybe he's a couple days old, so uh he was tripping out in the truck forever and ever, so we're pretty sure that he's just uh, that he's sleeping, because uh, he breathes and he moves if you poke him with a straw. But uh, he's got some fleas on him, so I got some flea killing stuff, and we're going to give him a bath when he wakes up. He's gonna fucking hate it. It's gonna be hilarious. So it's been a pretty unproductive week. Um, Tony's actually at the sandblast rally, or. Uh, Desert Storm Rally, rather, I believe, in California. It's one of those. I didn't get it right last video, either. But uh, Dan got first in his class. I believe they were six overall, so they did good. They are running a front and drive Subaru production class. And uh, they're going to be home tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get some good videos. There's some more video from the last rally. I'll probably merge the better stuff, the end cars, things like that, into another video later this week. But uh, hopefully when we get home, we're going to bust on this car. Because uh, I'm down to get some rallying going. Another reason to love uh, Idaho, I can find this Pepsi in a glass bottle from Mexico, and it's made with pure sugar, and it's fucking delicious for a dollar thirty for about a half a liter. It's not bad. So it costs as much as like a twenty ounce or a little more, but it's in a cool glass bottle. You can also get Coca Cola. It's nifty. Seriously, the nastiest candy on earth. It's a uh, Mexican candy thing. Let's see here, uh, how you go. It says strawberry flavored hard candy lollipop coated with chili. And they look like poop on a stick. I've had dingleberries that look similar to this guy. It's seriously the nastiest candy I've ever had in my life. I actually puked a little bit. It's bad. So this diff right here is a, uh, it's the wrong diff. The 8485, as a, probably most of you know, has a different bearing size, so the axles from an 8485 go into an 84 and 85 differential. That guy is not from an 8485. It's definitely small spline. So put it all together, axles went in, didn't fit, a lot of profanity, pulled it back out, and uh, I gotta go find myself another differential. Figured out why the deer end exploded. Um, my dumbass didn't put the washer back in when I changed the pinion seal, apparently. And uh, I was in a rush and it bit me in the ass. So the nut pulled through into the bearing, and the uh, pinion looks like it's still good. The ring and pin, uh, that ring looks like it's still good. So uh, I'll probably take it apart and use it in the rally car or something else, maybe for now. But uh, what I gotta do in the meantime is figure out how to get that guy back together. Uh, Worst case, you might be able to cobble something out of those parts, throw in the silver car. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm.